Hi, preschoolers. It's Mrs. Secker. I am, we're going to play a game. So for most of the video, you're not going to see my face. You're going to see what I'm doing over here. But I wanted to start out by saying hello. I miss you. I love you. Let's play a little game. Um, what you're going to need, and you can pause the video maybe to see if someone in your house can help you, um, are a couple of dice. And if you look here, you can see. Whoa. <laughs> um, what? I have a couple of dice here, just regular dice from any game that you play, um, any board game, shoots and ladders, candy lane, any game that you have to do roll dice to move. You could borrow your the dice out of there and play this game with them. Dice are one of the easiest things to play a lot of games with. So I just read a story about more or less. And what I thought you could do is if you had a couple of dice, you could roll the dice. Oh, and I would count the dots on the dice. So count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. This dice has six. How many dice do you think this, or dots do you think that dice has? I think if we count them, we're going to find out that they are the same. These dice are equal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I was playing this game by myself, I would just say, I can't believe it. My dice are the same. They are equal. If I'm playing it with a sibling or with my parent, then you're, both of you would say, oh my gosh, our dice are equal. These dice are equal. So that would be a fun thing to do. If you have a piece of paper and a marker, which I'm going to pause the video and go grab. So this would be a great time for you to go get a dice and a piece of any kind of paper and a piece of any kind of writing utensil, pencil, marker, crayon, anything. I'll meet you back here in two minutes. All right, friends, I'm back, and you can see I have a piece of paper here. It's just a piece of paper that was laying on the counter, any piece of paper. So if I have a young preschooler, maybe a three- or four-year-old, I'm just going to play the game or let them play the game. Roll the dice. This dice has, let them count the dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, this dice has one, two, three. Then you could ask your preschooler or your preschooler playing with their friend could say, this dice has, or you would say, which dice has more? And hopefully your preschooler would say, this one. This one, which, pre, which dice has less? This one. And then you would um, say, you're right. Three is less than six. Or six is more than three. And then you would just keep playing the game. If you have an older preschooler, maybe a preschooler going to kindergarten next year, or a preschooler who really loves math, you could take a piece of paper. Now, I'm doing this in front of you so you kind of get an idea what to do. Just take a piece of paper. We're going to fold it long ways. Your preschooler can definitely help you. You're going to tear it right off, or if you have scissors, you could cut it. Then we're going to fold it into thirds again, kind of like this. It does not have to be exact. So now we're going to fold it backwards. If you don't have scissors, you can just tear it or you can take a pair of scissors. I'm just going to tear it because we're just playing a quick game. And I found a marker. This marker happens to be brown. It was the easiest one to find. I could use a crayon. I could use a pen, a pencil, anything. And I'm going to make the symbols on, this piece of, on these pieces of paper. So this is the symbol for equal or same here is the greater than symbol, and here is the less than symbol. And we just saw that in the book that we read. So we've got them now. So we could give these to our preschooler. We could practice it with them. More than, less than, equals. And if your preschooler is watching, you could, we could practice together. More than, less than, equals. So then we put these over here out of the way. And I'm going to roll the dice. And now you're going to ask your older preschooler what, what, which is more and which is less. So some of them might be able to tell you right off the bat, this one has more. Why does that one have more? Well, this one is five, and this one is two, and five is more than two. Some preschoolers can look at it and know it. Other preschoolers will need to count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Five is more than two. 
whoops, <laughs> then you ask them to look at the signs that we made, and you're going to ask them to make a number sentence using the symbols or the signs that we made for greater than and less than. So they could take their sign and say, 5 is greater than 2, 2 is less than 5. So now they have the signs for greater than and less than. So then you move the sign, you roll it again. Oh, those look awfully similar. Some preschoolers are going to know right off that is 5 and that is 4. If they don't, we want them to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is less than 5. 4 is less than 5. So they can play. You guys can play together. You can play with an adult. You can play by yourself. I love playing with dice, and you guys know I have a lot of dice in my classroom. So I love playing dice games. Another thing we can do with the dice game, if they get tired of more than, less than, and equal, is I can add them together. I can say, I can take the piece of paper that's under here, and I can count the first one, one, two, three, four, five, or maybe I know that's five, then count the next one, five, we're going to call that counting on the next one, six, seven, eight, and then maybe I'm going to write the number sentence for you. Maybe I'm going to write... 5 plus 3 equals 8. Some preschoolers can do that. It, this is a great skill to practice at home. I could do this all day. Huh. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Hmm, I'm going to write the numbers. Skinny neck, belly fat, number 5 wears a hat, plus number 2, Around the track and back, 2, 2 equals, oh, I don't know, I'll have to count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We count 5, then we count on 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 2 equals 7. I'm going to do this again. Oh my goodness. So do I always have to start with more? The one that is more, which is why, we started our lesson with more and less so that preschoolers would get in the habit of always counting the one with more first and then counting on the one that is less. That makes math easier for all of us if we think about it that way. At least a lot of, pre a lot of uh, students think that way. So this, this one looks like it has more, so I'm going to co start counting there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so I'm going to write my number six. A stick in a loop does the trick. That's the way to make a six. Then I'm going to count this one. One, two, three. I'm going to make my plus sign. I'm going to make a three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. I know this is six. I'm going to count on seven, eight, nine. Six plus three equals nine. So fun. So this would be a great two great math lessons that will keep the kiddos occupied for a little bit. Some of them will start being able to do this on their own. Now, some kids, the best way for them to play this game might be to simply roll one dice and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They just learn to practice the counting and maybe they want to count it and just write the number. Maybe they want to count and write the name number. I'm going to count again. Oh, I don't even have to count that one. That's two. I'll make a two. I'll roll again. One, two, three, four. I can make a four. <clears throat> down and over and down some more. That's the way to make a four. Let's roll again. Oh, I got six again. I'm going to, I don't have to count them because I remember it from when I got six up here. I'm going to make another six. Let's do that again. Um, I better count those. One, two, three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Now, some preschoolers are only going to roll the dice and count and then roll the dice again and count. And they're not interested in writing. And maybe they're not ready to talk about more than, less than. So they're just going to roll. Um, maybe they want to roll them both and count them all, all of the dots together. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. 
and then roll again. But I think that you'll um, see that if you grab some dice, you can do a lot of different games with them, and uh, they learn a lot of math with just two dice. Now, I have another dice here. Um, this one is kind of fun. You need, I'm going to put move this out of the way, put that like that. All right, and this is kind of a fun matching game. I'm going to roll this dice, and it has one, whoops, out of frame. Sorry, let me do it again. It has one, two, three. I'm going to look on this number, I'm going to find number three, and I'm going to match them up. So I have a dice with numbers, and I have a dice with dots. I have to count the dot and match the dice. Let's do that again. Let's roll the dice. One, two. I'm going to find the two on my dice and match them up. Let's do one more of those. Oh, that's one and one. So that's a fun game if you happen to be able to find a dice that has just numbers on it. Um, some friends, uh, we do have some dice that has the word for the number on it. I didn't happen to bring any of those home from school. Um, I wish I did. Um, and the kiddos can uh, roll and then match the number word that goes with their number too. So that's another way to play the game if you happen to have some of those at home. So. Preschoolers and parents, I hope that you got some uh, good ideas for playing with dice and uh, doing some really fun math lessons today. I will be talking to you again soon. Take care. I miss you.